Guys, I've never been so lucky in my life. Anyway, while I was shopping the $33 offer, I got a $5 for seven miles, I think it was, and I turned it down. And I'm almost done with order A, and I get an offer for $55 going 12 miles. Uh, only like 20 items. Of course I took it, uh, it would be insane not to. So anyway, yeah, this is like uh, 80 something dollars worth of uh, pay in my car. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. <laughs> I just haven't had a, I haven't had a morning like this in forever. Well, you, you know, you're, you're you're in the middle of talking yourself out of working in the morning because it's so dead all the time. And you know, it, I, I talked it over with the wife and thought about it, and it's it's kind of dead during the afternoon, so it wouldn't make any damn sense to not work the mornings. So, you know, then you get this type of order um, back to back. So it's just mind blowing. I'm pretty excited. Uh, this should put me over a hundred dollars matter of fact it will a hundred dollars by probably 10 20 10 15 somewhere in that area so um, I'm, I'm just blown away guys i'm just blown away and i'm trying to find my way through this parking lot because this is a shit parking lot but anyway i'm just open the 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 50 dollars well, was 55 dollars the 55 dollar one that's going to headland is not the uh, little old lady that told me the story about how somebody stole all of her stuff and never delivered it and then she reported that <laughs> that I didn't deliver some of her food uh, even though she gave me a massive tip in the app and, and a cash tip so I'm um, just hoping, hoping maybe it's not her because I don't want any problems this is a bad fucking parking lot bro well it was in fact that little old lady um, I had a conversation with her and I um, reminded her who I was I've been there before told her thank you for the tip and then I told her I had to take a photo of everything I actually took a photo of everything on the damn conveyor belt as you can see here took a photo of stuff at the door just in case she didn't come to the door because it was me to the door and then when she came to the door I took a photo inside on her uh, kitchen table she goes oh they want a photo now you damn straight they want a photo <laughs> don't need nobody claiming no shit on me but anyway uh, yeah great great offer I'm at $110 it's 10 18 about like i said and uh yeah man, I'm, I'm super excited about getting those two offers so i, I did notice that uh, i've not i've not paid attention but i did notice that instacart uh, i want to say it used to be an hour but i guess i guess maybe they have two hours to change the tip hopefully she doesn't she didn't give me a cash tip like she did last time but hell she gave me 50 in the app so i'm not complaining anyway we still have doordash scheduled for 11 o'clock um doesn't mean anything uh, I, I would like to do DoorDash, but ever since I noticed that they took away the item count, I have no desire to do DoorDash whatsoever. Um, uh, I mean, I, we all know what a good order is, but it's the fact that they're already non-transparent, and, and now they don't want you to know how many items you're picking up until you get there. Uh, it's just it's just very frustrating. Uh, the, that company is shit. It, it may be your bread and butter, but uh, it's for you. You have to agree that. It's wrong to hide tips for one, even though we can kind of figure out some of them, but we shouldn't have to. That's the point. And, and now you're going to hide the items. That, that's just that's ridiculous. It's kind of like the uh, conversation I had with the Uber Eats support person. It's just they're, they don't respect the drivers and they don't give a shit. They just care about themselves, their company. And, um, you know, I, I can kind of understand you caring about your company, but you should care also for the for the shoppers that you have and pick up uh, the drivers that you have. Um, a little bit at least at least act like you do i mean you're by not showing the full uh order with the item count and you know, also not even being transparent you're, you're already saying that you're shit about the drivers period so i mean just it's just a slap in the face and um i would rather do instacart you know it's just me so they all have their flaws even instacart like when they do the shop only and a, and a delivery they're not paying you to do the shop only and uh, I am being dead serious. They do not pay you to do that shop only. You get zero dollars uh, because the base pay is the same as it would be if, if, if you did the uh, shop only by itself or the delivery by itself. There's no increase whatsoever. These are absolutely free in case you didn't know that. You're doing it for free. So It has to be a really good damn order for me to take a shop only and delivery. 
All right, guys, got my next order. What a great day so far. I mean, like, I have a Panera order now for Uber Eats, $13 for three miles. Um, and it's, it's like 13 items. So, I mean, it has the potential to go up because, you know, Uber Eats hides after $8 from what I've seen. Yeah, hopefully it goes up. It's going to uh, Merrill Lynch uh, Company. So, yeah. It's pretty awesome. Today is not the, not one of those days. It's a very exceptional day so far. I uh, can't complain whatsoever. I'm gonna be at my goal, which is 125 a day, uh, at, at before 12. Actually, before 11:30. Yeah, before 11:30. So this is pretty amazing. So hopefully, hopefully it just keeps up, and I have no problems uh, the rest of the day. Uh, just pretty excited. I have I've been needing a day like this, and uh, here it is. I thought I was going crazy because something's bouncing in that window but it's actually the crystal ball and the sunlight I guess it's rotating <laughs> all right guys uh, I had a lot of other orders in there that I didn't share it was uh, a lot of instacarts here's those orders if you want to look at them they were just regular orders that just kept me moving the rest of the day really enjoyed the day I didn't really sit in my car for any long period of time it uh, just worked out. I was uh, heading home after my last drop off, which was sketchy. Hopefully there's no bullshit happens. You know, it was, uh, it was a drop off of someone that was uh, handed to me. I took photos anyway uh, in my car before I took it out. Just, uh, just a rough part of town. The person didn't really talk much. Uh, seemed pissed. Nothing to be mad about. The only thing that they didn't get was purified water. And I talked to them about swapping it with spring water, and then they agreed. On the way home, and uh, I'm looking at my numbers, thinking I've hit 200 easily. And I'm at 199.96, <laughs> a four cents short of 200. And I'm, I'm just going ahead and chalking it up to the fact that I'm not going to hit 200. And then I get a Uber Eats from Taco Bell going the way I'm going to my house uh, for $8 couple of miles I think it was and uh yeah that carried me over 200 so thank god I'm, I'm on like 208 or something like that and um yeah what a what an incredible day I haven't had a 200 dollars day in a very long time very much appreciative of it and um gives me hope that my market can actually uh you know hit those numbers every now and then I know I know two of those orders were uh $80 of tips on Instacart by two different customers together, $150, $130. And like I say, that, that's going to be rare, but if you knock those down, like the time it took to do both of them, you know, I probably would have had a regular order, which wouldn't have been as much. And I probably would have been around my normal numbers of maybe 140 today. So it actually turned out to be a pretty good day overall, regardless. But, but those two orders definitely what a boost to the day you know, for a Tuesday that's incredible Tuesdays are notoriously bad and I, I know you've heard me say that multiple times but it's the truth and um, I'm just so thankful for today I really needed this boost uh, to my to my wallet <laughs> some of you guys may remember I got a speeding ticket and uh, I've got to pay that next Tuesday so I'm, I'm looking for that speeding ticket to be 250 plus dollars I'm not sure exactly how much it was or how much it's going to be. I just know I was, um, I think, 26 miles per hour over the speed limit. So <laughs> so it's going to be uh, probably a little stiff. Hope my insurance doesn't go up. Uh, I'm hoping the, the cop stays true to what he said. If I show up in court, then he'll make sure the points are not added to my license. So that that's why I'm going to court. I'm not going to, to like, uh, argue it. I am going to argue the fact that he put that my hair color was bald. <laughs> I'm not bald, man. I have some hair. But, uh, yeah. So, anyway. All right, guys. appreciate you hanging in there with me and uh, going through another video, another day. Uh, it's actually cooling down. It's 80 degrees right now in Georgia, Alabama area. And, uh, yeah. Just looking forward to the winter, if we have one, the fall, whatever. I just want the temperature to drop into the 60s, bare minimum, 20s, preferably. I've always been a cold nature person. Love it. Um, ready to put a beanie on. Um, I'm a beanie person. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.